Hi everyone, it's Kathy Koliakova with PepperitMarketing.com and today's marketing tip is actually a how-to tip on how to upload a file to your Amazon Web Services console. And what this system is, is a really fabulous storage system for storing online documents, especially larger files that might hog up the space on your website server. Amazon has many different services that people don't really understand that are out there, and this is one of them. So you would need to open up a Amazon Web Services account. And then you go and sign into your console, they call it. Now there are all sorts of things in here. The main thing that you would deal with when it comes to uploading and storing documents on their server as opposed to yours is the S3 scalable storage in the cloud. So that's where you would go to use this. And a lot of reasons that people do this, biggest one is the storage space on your server. I have tons of recordings in here for my video trainings, I have PDFs, I have Excel files, and I pay approximately a dollar something a month for the storage in here. So you can't beat the price on it, and it's also in a system that works really well, and the URLs that you would be sharing with people to the files that you would be sharing with them are not in any way going to open it up so that people could figure out where a folder might be on your website and download all the other items in there. So we're going to go ahead and load up a document here. So I'm going to hit the S3 section. And once you go into the scalable storage here, there's you can make all sorts of different folders. Big thing with them is you can't have any dots or dashes or capitals in the name. So you got you have to keep it pretty simple. So I'm going to go into my download folder and I'm going to upload a new file. So you can go in here and you can upload by clicking on the file and, and browsing on your site or you can also go in and just uh, into your uh, website and just drag over the file that you want to put in there. So I'm going to put the file in here. Once I've got the file in here and I'm uploading a PDF this time, I'm going to hit start upload. So it's got that in, it's finished it, and now here is the item right here. Next step you have to do, and this is mandatory or nobody can open up the document on your through your link, you have to go and make that uh, file public. It'll warn you, are you sure you want to do this? You hit OK. And once you've done that, then you have a URL that you can share to that document with people online. To take a look at what the URL is, you just look at the properties on that file and then you've got a link to it. So this would be the link that you're going to use to share whether it's in an email or on a website page, whatever it might be. And so I'm just going to click that open. A PDF will typically open right on the internet depending on what people's web browsers are set to do. So you can see that one is right there. If you uploaded an Excel file or an MP4 file or three, they will do different things. Excel and document files will actually download them directly to the computer. So the user would save it to their computer. And then the video files, um, they can be uh, listened to right online or saved as well. So that is how you go through and use the Amazon Web Services tool and use that uh, scalable storage area to store some of your documents, your recordings, anything like that to save your own website server. And uh, it's a very simple thing to use and I highly suggest using it for any business owner that is in any way, shape or form sharing files or downloads or video recordings or audio recordings of trainings or programs or webinars that you might have. It's a really fabulous tool and very simple to use. I hope that helps you when you're looking to upload a file to your Amazon console and have a great day and you can find more tips and information at pepperitmarketing.com.